Greetings, my brothers in Christ. Here today is a promotional book for the upcoming Cho Anarchy game for PlayStation 1. The idea here is that developers have used photography for fighting games, like Mortal Kombat, why not, for a shooting game. And so they did that. There's also a, a manga going on. And there's a bit of that in here. Uh, really, really nice art in here. Uh, lots of behind the scenes. There's a demo disc. Um, here's the contents, if you can read this. The art direction is really interesting. And it begins with introducing the company introducing the series this is really just to get out there hey this exists you should buy it it goes through how the games are played controls and it gets into a, a walkthrough of the first bits of uh, this upcoming game to give people a good idea here's behind the scenes shooting of the cutscenes and whatever they need um, lots of fun, lots of blackface. Isn't bronzer so cool? That's not weird at all. It was described here that this actor, uh, was blushing and very shy, wearing an apron. Despite having more clothes on than before. Also, a look at um, this claymation little guy they were doing. Uh, they censored his crotch here. <clears throat> Very tasteful. This is a tasteful game. What the hell is going on here? News that there will be an upcoming soundtrack. Uh, the soundtracks for these games are exquisite and tend to outsell the games themselves. So they're like, hey, new soundtrack coming, and boy is it dope. And then the general walkthrough of how the game works, enemies, starts here. Um, the, the Super Brothers are powered by protein, and it says here, it's really funny that they don't die, they just um, get demotivated. So they're immortal, but like, you know, they, they get a bit bummed out uh, without enough protein. And um, when they build up enough protein, they could have big cums, which, you know, destroys the enemies. Um, here we have um, all the assets for uh, an enemy such as this, maybe hitboxes as well. There will be more design process coming up. Here's some more with these towers of men. The walkthrough continues. This game, um, <laughs> all of them were met with much derision, especially here in the States. I, I frequently seen people like take it as looking ugly, as meaning it's bad. And when it's referred to, people say, oh god, that game is so fucking bad. Is it, though? Or is it just... Has it simply succeeded in its revolting art design? The first two games, like, are genuinely gorgeous. This one, like... Th this is supposed to be fucked up, you know? Like, I think a lot of people, like, came at it like, ew... Like, with the homoerotic aspect, it's like, is this supposed to be sexy? Do people find this sexy? Ew. No, it's supposed to be fucked up. And it is. The uh, dreamlike, nightmarish design of the series is what it does. And I don't understand how people can't get that maybe 
this is supposed to be entertaining. Here we get um, enemy concepts, their sprites, and their their pathing. We get like this lamp, and it just what guys spinning on chairs. Sometimes the designs look quite different from what they ended up with because they didn't photograph this guy. They got relatively normal looking human beings. Y you could tell the everyone was having great fun coming up with this. Guy with a fish on his forehead? Sure. Merman. This guy has many legs. Uh, a fish with legs. All kinds of funny things. Um, like, oh, we, we get some really weird shit like this. Like, it was gonna be a dolphin, but they made, just made it a fish. And then this, this disgusting bird man. This is like... I, this is praise, but this is bottom-of-the-barrel <laughs> enemy designs. They are scraping down there. Thomas the Tank Engine. Middle finger. That. What the hell? Okay, they're, they're pots with faces and legs. There's that. There are two different 69 type enemies. There's these and then these. Um, they actually have buttholes. It looks like they tried to give him some underwear. I don't remember that thing like that in the game, but... This nose <laughs> coming out of the helmet. Some more robust boss designs. Another look at the manga, this painted piece. The art is really good. All colored beautifully. The the comics are quite extensive. You wouldn't expect them to be, but they are. And here we are at the demo disc. It is a unique slice of the game because the game was still in development and changes were made, so there are differences in here than what you get. And there you have it. A very cool little artifact for... An unfairly maligned series that is in the hands of people that can only make parody of parody of parody kind of losing what made it unique. I, maybe this game was a little bit too far. There's no uh, coming back from this. But they went there. They made it. Show Anarchy. Have a great day.